is up YouTube and welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. My name is Amina and today I am going to be answering a question that a lot of you ladies have been asking lately about how to work out with natural or transitioning hair. So I know a lot of you know the time commitment that it takes to be natural or to start transitioning. And so you wanna make sure that your hard work is not going to waste by doing a bomb twist out or having a nice little wash and go or doing a rod set, coming to the gym and then sweating it all out. So we definitely don't want that to happen. So what I did after my gym class is pulled a few lovely natural ladies aside to give you their tips and tricks on how they maintain their hair during workouts and then throughout the week to make sure that they get the most out of their hairstyles and are not having any problems sweating it out. So let's jump into it and hear what they have to say and then I will let you know how I personally like to style my hair when I work out and how exactly I do that. So without further ado, let's get into it. Everybody, my name is Theobia Rivers and I am a fitness and health creative. So I'm a personal trainer, a group fitness instructor, and I also am a middle school teacher. When I work out, I usually wear my hair up in a pineapple. Um, wear a headband, put it up so it's out of my face, so nothing's on my forehead, because if I do wear my hair in my face, I'm gonna break out on my forehead, so I make sure I pull it up, it's out the way. I make sure I moisturize though, so it's like nice and not dry, right? When I'm not working out, I usually stretch my hair by doing a dry twist out. And uh, I put maybe, I use Cantu, so I put Cantu in it, I twist it, and then I sleep on it, and when I wake up, I untwist it, and then there you go. And when I work out, it's easy to just get a headband, put it right up, and then usually sometimes I'm actually able to just let my hair down, fluff it out, and then it's an afro again, so. So pretty easy. Yeah, very easy. Um, just up, down, up, down. And then when it's starting, the sweat, you know, it makes your hair dirty, um, maybe a week or we can have, I'll wash it. Thanks for letting us know. So tell us your name. My name's Avina. Hi Avina, and um, tell us what you like to do to keep your natural hair when you're working out. Um, well, I always usually put it up and it protects just like so it's covered up. You know, because your hair ends and everything. Um, and then after, I usually, like, not like a deep one, but like a set of vinegar, because I kind of just take the dirt off because you're sweaty. Okay. Um, and then with some shape on at the end of, you know, protect it. Awesome. And does working out prevent you from rocking your natural styles or do you feel like you can stretch them for a long time? No, I usually stretch them for a long time. I think sometimes you don't feel like you can't, but I usually just like if you, I sometimes want like a big wrap or something Perfect. just to keep it intact or like a little heavy. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name is Celine. So during the workouts, my hair is easy. I just take a Pony, pony. <laughs> hair tie, we'll call it a hair tie. <laughs> then I grab both my hair and I do like pineapple hair style. And I just do my workout how I can. Just not on your on your face, because it can be, well, I like to have it that uh -huh. for my face. <laughs> nice uh, and cute. <laughs> but no, it's not that hard. And during the week, I like to have my whole hair wild hair style and and just have them everywhere and the bigger they are, better I am. And that's it, it's not hard. Yeah, it's easy. Yes. <laughs> awesome. So I hope that information helped you. Definitely make sure to check those ladies out online and on Instagram. I've tagged their information in the description box below. But to give you some info on what I personally like to do, it's very similar to what they've said. So I will either put my hair up into one pineapple, which if you've heard that term and you're not familiar with it, it just means a high ponytail. So we kind of look like little pineapples and we have our hair like this. So I'll do one or two of these. Um, and right now, I'm showing you my one pineapple style, but honestly, when I go to the gym and I have a fresh wash and go, I'll usually do two because it helps prevent stretching in the back right here, but I'm not wearing it for this part of the video because I feel like I kind of look like the weekend when I wear my hair like that. But one of the other important things to me is to have some kind of barrier at my forehead and hairline just to make sure that it catches any kind of sweat or anything like that, but it's not required to have one of these at all. I just like to use this little scarf that I have from Her Given Hair um, and then also a satin scarf is an awesome alternative to use. So whatever works for you, 
you if you have any kind of headband that's nice to put around and then you just pineapple your hair using two just regular hair ties and then you're good to go it's a pretty easy process and honestly I can stretch my hair throughout the week if I wanted to work out every single day even if you're doing CrossFit or anything like that and you're really sweating going hard in the gym you can still maintain those styles and just making sure that you keep your hair as far away from your neck and from the front of your face as possible that's really really going to help you it's not going to crush your curls and you can still stretch that style out for as long as you want to now if you want to know how long you need to go between washes that really just depends on your level of activity and how your hair responds to that kind of oil so if you want to wait every three days or even just once a week um, then that works perfectly fine and like i said it's different for everybody but just see what works out for you but 100% it is possible and way easier than what a lot of people think to be natural or transitioning and work out. So I hope this video helped you. Make sure to leave comments and let me know what you guys want to see next as always. And also this is my first video since I hit 20k so thank you so much for getting me to that point. You guys are absolutely amazing and I want to keep creating content for you that's going to help you and give you whatever resources that you need to continue on in your transitioning, natural journey, or just journey in general. So let me know more of what you're looking for and I will make sure to give that to you and I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will talk to you soon. Bye.